Welcome back to another shop with me and grocery haul video. Today we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and Costco. If you're new here, my name is Leah and I love to spend less and create more and share with you how you can do the same thing in your kitchen as well. Now that often starts in the grocery store and follows through in the kitchen. So make sure you stay tuned for future videos where I share with you meal ideas and recipes using what you've purchased in a more creative way to help those groceries stretch. So today I'm heading into Trader Joe's first. My husband actually got to come with me today and we just made a full day of it and had so much fun shopping and spending time together. We even went out to lunch and had Texas Roadhouse for our birthday. We both have a birthday the first week in February, so we are officially 30. So far there haven't been too many emotions involved in turning 30. I know it's a really big milestone, so I still feel like I'm really young and there hasn't been too much time, I guess, to focus on turning 30. We're just enjoying our kids and our new home and all of the goals and ideas that we have for our future. And now we're just really wanting to make sure that all of our future years just continue to get healthier and we make better choices, more mindful. So combining that with frugal grocery shopping is a pretty big deal for me. So I wanna share that journey here with you as well. So let me know if you're interested in that. We have been searching for Bombas for months and every time we go, they've been out of stock, but if you've had them, you know, they're so good. I am finally back at Costco after probably a six month hiatus. They even have their samples back, which was a really crazy sight to see since I think it's been about two years since they stopped doing samples. So I don't know when they brought them back, but it was really cool to see. I am also picking up some things for my nephew and I was originally going to share this grocery haul with you on Friday, but some of these deals are just so killer. I would hate for you to miss out on them before the sale runs out. I'll have the best sale price items that I found listed in the description box, things that I picked up today. Uh, but let me know in the comments, what looked best to you? What would you be most excited to go pick up at Costco? they have. When you go into a big box store like Costco or Sam's Club, you already know that you could be saving a lot of money because certain items are cheaper when you buy them in bulk or at a wholesale club. So you might think that everything there is a good deal when in reality that's not always the case. And it's also really important to keep in mind that if you don't go in with a list and you stick to that list, it's really easy just to start snagging things that look good or sound good. And before you know it, you're over $100 over budget because if you think about it, each item, because it's so big, can be easily $20 just for that one thing. So it's a lot easier to go over budget there as opposed to just running into Walmart and picking up an extra bag of chips that wasn't on your list. So make sure you are very mindful when you go into a big store like this. If you are and you allow for a little wiggle room to have some extra things here and there, then you are definitely able to save a lot of money. We just got back from Costco and Trader Joe's. I organized everything starting with meat into produce and then pantry staples and snacks. So over here with the meat, I bought some more Canadian bacon. This is such a good low fat protein for the morning. I also picked up their organic ground beef. This is the 8515 and it's actually a really good price better than Walmart. So I got it from them. I also picked up the salmon fillets. This is the wild caught. 
I've actually never had frozen salmon, but I've heard that Costco's is supreme. I also picked up some more breakfast meat, the Amy Lou breakfast chicken sausage links. I've heard that they're good. I'm hoping because there's a lot in here. These were on sale, so we're gonna try those. They're fully cooked. You just have to heat them through. I also picked up some bacon and they have an amazing deal on bacon. You get three pounds for like $15. So definitely better than our local store brand. And then the pepperoni, these are two huge packs for like $6. It was on sale. So I'm going to be splitting them up and I'll be freezing portions of the bag that I open. That way it lasts longer. I also picked up two huge things of olive oil. This is the less expensive of the two olive oil varieties that I saw there. So I just picked up that one. They also have an organic one. For produce, I got strawberries. This is a two pound box. I will be sharing these with some friends as well with some chocolate covered strawberries. So they're not just for our house, but we could eat the whole thing ourselves. Um, baby spinach, this is the organic one from Costco. Have you seen that they stopped doing lids and they just have this film? So you're gonna have to transfer this to over to something else to store it. But I like that it's less packaging. I also got some of the organic broccoli. This is a two pound bag, I think. And that's it for the produce. I usually get a better produce deal at my local stores. If I don't find it on clearance, Costco has the best price. So I went ahead and just got it from them. For some pantry items, I picked up pecans. They have by far the best price, as well as their maple syrup. It is an amazing deal from them. It cannot come close anywhere else. The honey is an amazing deal from them as well. So these are some items that we will be using for several months. This is gonna take a long time to get through. So this is not just a monthly haul. This is a huge bag of oats. These were also on sale and we're not super low on oats, but I don't wanna run out. And while they were on sale, I picked those up. This was something that was really fun to find. I actually was talking about this and I said, we should try this. I wish I could taste it to know what it's like before we buy a big jug of it. But we look over and they're serving samples of it and it is really good. It doesn't just taste like cheese. It actually has like a Mexican flavor in it as well, but it tastes so good. Um, also some taco seasoning. Then I'm um, like, I literally ran out completely the other day. So I needed that. Gourmet salsa. We've never tried this before, but it looked really good. And I've heard amazing things about it. So not responsible for obsession. We're going to try that. This is the avocado mayo. It's really good. It's definitely not an inexpensive mayo, but if you want some good oil, that's a good one to get. And then the pickled beets is definitely a better deal at Costco to get them um, if you're into having them in a glass jar. I don't prefer to have them in the can. These taste so much better. So I like to have these on salad and quinoa bowls. And then the organic Annie's. We do Kraft mac and cheese, Annie's mac and cheese. Um, but I like this a lot and it was really a good deal. It was on sale and still cheaper than my store's local price on Kraft. So I went ahead and picked those. And then for some snacks, I got this. I've never tried this before. We're going to see if it tastes good, but I love dark chocolate and I like fruit with my chocolate. So this has 42 calories per square. It is dark chocolate, um, very dark chocolate. But look at that, you get three pieces for 130 calories and seven grams of sugar. If you like those Brookside chocolate fruits, you're gonna love this. This is so good and it's cheaper, but even if they're not on sale, so worth the money. So good. And then we're gonna try this as well. I think the kids would be more up to liking it than I do, but there is the cookie dough bars and a peanut butter chocolate bar. They are only 190 calories and 12 grams of protein. So my kids don't need to have like a 20 gram protein bar like Dakota has. Um, but this has more protein than like a kind bar and it has less calories than a cliff bar. So I like the idea of those. So we're going to try those out. I also got these. My kids love the That's It bars, and I like that these are the minis. So it's perfect for Malin, perfect for a lunchbox. It has strawberry, mango, and blueberry, and literally that is it. There's no sugar. Such a good snack. 
And then these are something new I've never tried before. Oh, my nephew can actually eat these. He's allergic to a lot of ingredients, but these he can have. And it's like the cinnamon twist flavor, like a churro or from Taco Bell cinnamon twist. So we're gonna try those out. They look like they have some really good ingredients. It does say that they are paleo and vegan. And here is the back for you to look at. So that's pretty good on there. Should have bought, I should have bought two bags for myself. I bought one bag for me and one bag for my nephew. They are so good, are so good, so good. This is another staple for us when we go to Costco, the Aussie Bites. So you only need like one, maybe two. Um, it has really good ingredients. One piece for 130 calories. It's very nutrient dense. So it's like having a granola bar, um, but look at the ingredients. They're so good. These taste amazing, I love them. And then our good old faithful Pirate's Booty, four packs. I love doing this for the kids' lunches, put them in the car. They're just easy. If we buy chips, unless we're having an event or I specifically plan for us to eat chips with certain dinners throughout the week, then our chips just tend to go stale. This actually saves us money to just buy whether it's chips or snacks, goldfish, whatever. It really is so helpful to buy them pre-packaged like in little individual packs. Okay, so then over here I have some drinks. This could be taken out of a grocery budget or it can be considered a splurge in another area, whatever you wanna consider it. But we stocked up for a couple of months worth of our favorite seltzer waters that we can only get when we're out of town where we were today. So I picked those up at our Kroger. And then this is something Dakota found. It's a zero sugar energy drink. And we tasted it actually in the store. After he found it, he put it in the car and then right around the corner, they were giving out samples and they taste really good. I tried the kiwi guava and he said both the wild berry and the guava were really good. That's what they were giving out in samples. So that was definitely a splurge. Um, but you know, we go to gas stations and we'll pick up a Red Bull or, you know, different special drinks like a Starbucks or whatever. So it's nice to just go ahead and spend money up front and just have it in stock. So that can be like fun money drinks or come out of grocery budget, whatever you think. They're about a dollar a can. And then the vitamin water, zero sugar, 20 pack. Um, I don't know what these flavors are. <laughs> Triple X, I don't know. Squeezed and rice, I don't know. It's whatever. And then two bags of our espresso beans. We have been having to order these on Amazon and have them shipped to us, but Costco finally brought them back. So we bought two of them. So excited. Okay, so for our non-grocery items, I'll go ahead and share with you if you're interested. But we picked this up, Dakota found it, and it looked so cool. We're gonna put this in our den. Uh, we also picked up some more things to hang up our artwork and things that we are gonna be doing here at the new house. These looked really awesome. He has to take a Meprazole every day. We tried the apple cider vinegar for a while and it did not help at all. He was in so much pain, so he takes those per his doctor's recommendation. Um, we also have been using our Philips Sonicare toothbrushes for, I think, going on three years. Our favorite by far, so we needed to stock back up on these. They were also on sale, so it was perfect timing. We were running low on some light bulbs. We're actually, we're out of light bulbs. We need to replace some, so we got those. They were on sale. Garbage bags were almost completely out of. OxyClean, this was on sale, and I have like this much left, so we use this all the time with kids. And then I was so excited to find these. They were not on sale, I don't think. They looked so nice. I like that they were clear. They have a little bit of gray on the bottom for the fresh part, um, like the drain. So I went ahead and bought just one pack and they were about $20, I think. And then we have our big pack of the bath tissue. Definitely a better price there than Walmart, which is where we've been getting it. So that is all of the non-grocery items and everything from Costco. So now I'm going to go ahead and share with you Trader Joe's. So here is our Trader Joe's haul. Most excited about being able to get our Bombas again. Every time I've gone in the last like six months, which isn't often, but every time I go, they're sold out. So these are a staple for us when we can find them. They're 99 cents a bag. And honestly, they taste like a combination between like a cheese puff, which not the cheese flavor, but like a puff that tastes like peanut butter Cap'n Crunch. They are so good. And now they have a chocolate covered one. So this is just like a special one. Uh, we just picked up one of those, but we got four of our Bombas. 
We also picked up some of these. He was like, this would be a great snack even without milk. So went ahead and got those. Also the kid's favorite peanut butter, well, at least Weston's favorite peanut butter and jelly bar. They're not the best on sugar content, but they are so delicious. You get six in each box. And then these fruise balls are amazing on sugar content. Um, if you saw my Thrive Market haul, I picked up some larger containers from them and we are already halfway through that and Malin is obsessed with these. So I went ahead and just picked up two more. I'm going to decant them and put them into the container that I bought earlier in the month. These were a special surprise for Weston. So when we got home, we told him that we got these, they're little sea turtle candies. And then another sweet treat was the Danish pecan Kringle. Oh my goodness, so amazing. They don't have Kringle every time you go. It's a very seasonal special item and different times throughout the year is a different flavor. And right now it is the pecan and they actually ship this in from Wisconsin. You can Google this company and watch how they make them. Oh my gosh, so good. So Dakota loves to get their green tea infused mints. And then I wanted to try these. I love stuffed grape leaves. Uh, this is stuffed with rice. So we'll go ahead and try those. This is a new sauce to us. We've never tried it. It says it's an all-purpose sauce that is sweet, savory, tangy, slightly spicy, and it has honey. So we'll try that. I needed some sesame oil, and I like that they have a small bottle compared to other places. So I won't be needing very much. A little bit of this stuff goes a long, long way. So I just got a small bottle from them. It's going to be used in like Asian things. So uh, speaking of that, I picked up the Mandarin Orange Chicken. This is like a Trader Joe's cult favorite. I like this a little bit, but I love the Kung Pao. So I picked up, this one is Dakota's, typically his favorite from there. This one is my favorite. It is spicy. And then they were all out of the vegetable fried rice. So I just picked up one of the Japanese. It has the edamame. It has tofu in it as well. So we'll see if my family notices that. And then this is so delicious. It is the riced cauliflower stir fry edition. So here's all the ingredients in there. So I picked up two of those bags. This will make a really good lunch prep or an easy weeknight dinner to go along with something over there. And then these are the non-grocery items. I picked up two of these three in one bottles for my guys. They both use it, so we have them in both bathrooms. And then this is our favorite all-purpose body cream. It smells slightly uh, fragrant, even though it says fragrance-free. It almost has like the slightest little bit of a citrus smell. Dakota says I'm crazy, but I'm telling you, if you've ever used this, let me know. I want to know if you actually have an opinion on what it smells like as well. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. And I already showed you everything else that we got from Costco. So if you are interested in seeing the grocery haul from Target, I had them ship it to me. It was so easy. I've done it multiple times. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. I'll try to put together a little miniature video of that for you and post it as well. And of course, until the next video, I will see you in the comments.